this feeling inside me na feel like it is a very important topic to talk about ourselves lalo na kapag napagpapit na tayo. Hello! It's me, I'm Man. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's episode, ang pag-uusapan natin is not the usual thing that I talk about. Hindi siya about sa pagiging positive or pagiging happy or pagiging grateful. It's about something you need to do when you're tired. Because napansin ko sa sarili ko that I've been uh, putting aside my tiredness my, because of the academics. I've been really um, pushing myself to my limits. Like if I wanna, I wanna rest, I I'd always tell myself, no, 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 you need to do something, you need to do this and that. And it's because I need to and I have to. But then again, um, I think lately I've been feeling, I have this feeling inside me that, girl, you need to do something to distress yourself. And I feel like it is a very important topic to talk about because, yeah, um, there are so many things that we 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 can do to feel loved and to to feel well taken care of, uh, amidst the pandemic. Like and yeah, I think it's really it's really important. Na mayamdaman natin na we're taking care of ourselves. Um, as you can see, uh, hindi ako nagayos or whatever because I just felt that I want to sit down right now and share with you guys. Um, what I'm currently feeling. So for today's episode, let's just talk about and how do we take care of ourselves. Um, kapag napapagod tayo, I, I know, I know. <laughs> let's not pretend. Lahat naman tayo napapagod din ang maabot sa point na para we just don't want to get out of the bed and just oh, just want to sleep. <laughs> Those moments. So yeah, let's talk about it. one tip, and I have been doing this. Uh, para lang pakalmahin yung exhausted fit, exhausted self ko is that I always um, start with myself. Like, alam mo, ngayon pagod na ako yun. And, and I really admit that, that nakakapagod ako yung online classes and um, I feel like my brain cells are not here anymore. Like, I feel like they just went out of my mind. <laughs> like, parang they, they all just said goodbye to my brain. So, yeah. What I do is I start with myself um, to tell myself, oh, oh, okay, everything has been exhausting and and dami nangyayari, sobrang busy, um, deadlines and everything. So what I do is I tell myself to slow down. You need to take extra care of yourself because, dude, what's happening is not is not normal. <laughs> Parang hindi, pag feeling ko hindi nakakayanin ng katawan ko, what I do is I start with myself. I do things and stuff para lang maparamdam ko sa sarili ko na, ah, okay, you need to take care and you need to slow down. You need to prioritize yourself. So that's what I'm doing. I do that through the different activities. So that that's the tip number one. The second tip is do something for yourself. Ako, what I have been doing is I start my day with um, drinking vitamins. Kahit on an empty stomach, I really drink vitamins. Especially vitamin C. Pag na-exhaust na yung body natin, kailangan na talaga natin ng supplements. If, for example, hindi na tayo nakakakuha ng enough enough sleep, hindi na tayo nakakakain ng um, healthy foods kasi sa sobrang busy natin, um, go drink your vitamins and go um, go push yourself an extra mile to really drink your supplement. Okay. Tip number three, I've been doing this ever since I started this video because I told you guys, I feel really exhausted uh, lately and feeling ko kaya ako talaga Kaya talaga ako nag take time to sit down and to just talk about this because I wanna share it with you and I wanna release. So tip number three is take a moment to breathe, okay? When everything feels like um bombarding, when everything feels like exhausting, when everything feels like ta 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 ta, -ta and it feeling parang robot ka na lang and you have nothing to do about it, just 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 take a moment. And then, Pause ka lang and just, you know, inhale and breathe out. Yeah. 
just breathe kahit siguro 3 minutes or like or like kahit 5 minutes just really tell yourself na okay wait lang hinga lang ako and then you go I feel like it helps as well that in a week kahit for example you just take your Sunday just for yourself just to really sleep and to just really breathe come on it really helps don't exhaust yourself for the whole week unless necessary but whenever whenever really possible please 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 take a moment take a day off and to just really breathe and just lie down and just tell yourself that ah, i need this just you know hinga ka lang girl <laughs> so tip number four is to sleep or take a nap proven and tested na siya if you feel like exhausted if for example magising ka na 6 a.m and you you work nag-workout ako, tapos ang uh, dami kong ginawa, ang dami kong homeworks, ang dami kong deadlines. If ever I find a free time, like for example, kahit 15 minutes lang yan, mag-nap ako, I'd really take a nap. And then, alam mo yung pag-gising ko, oh my god, I'm ready to fight again. <laughs> Parang ganun yung feeling niya. So, if hindi ka man makatulog, if alam ba, hindi ka makatulog ng maayos sa gabi, I feel like lahat tayo nahihirapan lately because of the pandemic. And lastly, I don't want to take too much of your time. So this is the last tip. Uh, I suggest you cut off unnecessary commitment. For example, if you have um, your academics na, tapos ang tabi mo pa mga um, pinagkakamitan na mga friends, or like, kahit hindi friends, kahit yung mga simple task, even yung sa bahay, if halimbawa, um, magkukomit ka na maghugas ka ng plate every night, pero hindi na talaga kaya ng time mo. If ever magkukomit ka na I'll uh, meet a friend every Friday, pero hindi na talaga kaya ng time and energy mo. If ever magkukomit ka man na so organizations mo pero hindi na talaga kaya ng time if dinadain niya lang yung energy mo ng commitment na yun and you feel like escaping most of the time you just go you just be honest with all of the people um, around you and kung sino man yung mga persons na connected with that commitment just honestly tell them that I have been feeling so exhausted I have been feeling so tired and I have been feeling restless. So I really need to cut this off. Um so yeah, I hope you know what anything naman na mapag usapan na maayo, so be fine. So just be honest because papag anin yun na yung mood mo tapas for sure, mas makakatulong siya sa'yo to manage your time more and to at least have a moment to rest. So yeah, those are the things na pwede natin magawa kapag uh, feeling natin, hindi na natin aalagaan yung sarili natin and feeling natin exhausted na tayo and parang na-push natin yung sarili natin to our limit. So yeah, I hope you take time to really take care of yourself because in this pandemic, in this kind of set up i don't know it's just really you <laughs> ang makakapaghandle for yourself well yeah, if you want to know more about me you can follow me at jamie montserrat sa mga social media ko and please comment down below ko ano yung mga nagpapa-stress sa inyo lately uh, also if you have something to add more kung ano yung mga pwede natin gawin para ma-feel well taken care of tayo just go share it lang sa comment down below and if may natutunan kayo go like share and subscribe to this channel and see you on